Greetings, and welcome to a presentation on residual neuromuscular blockade. My name is Joanne Donnelly, and I will be providing this discussion on residual neuromuscular receptors. There are several nicotinic receptors. The N1 or NM receptor are the nicotinic receptors that are located specifically on the neuromuscular junction. There are N2 receptors, or also referred to as the NN receptors, and those nicotinic receptors are located on the autonomic ganglia in the CNS as well as on the adrenal medulla. So what are the recommendations? Although there's a plethora of studies that look at residual neuromuscular blockade, and we know that it occurs, and we oftentimes extubate patients on very subjective measurements of strength, how can we reduce the sequelae of residual neuromuscular blockade? The groups that have most studied this problem, their recommendations include one, to minimize the administration of neuromuscular blockers. So instead of routinely giving these drugs to only give